guys and welcome to my channel today we are doing another speed build so this is a part of the base game starter home series that I have right here on the channel um, I have it designed this way because not everybody owns every pack not everybody owns a pack you know so I kind of do a base game starter home series kind of as a way to kind of signify hey you know what there's different combinations and different ways you can arrange all these different product or all these different items available in the base game so this way you really can get a more diverse building experience. Um, I guess that's what I'm trying to say. Um, so anyway, this home is built for a family of six. So if you notice, I was taking a look at the family tree there because I was trying to figure out exactly how the order went. I did download this uh, family off the gallery. Um, I wish I could remember what their names are. Um, <laughs> it was just pretty much a, ba it was just a basic family. I looked for four to six Sims. It was the first family I really liked because I was like, I'm looking for kind of like a more multi-generational family and that's exactly what I ended up finding here. So that's what I decided to go with. There was a couple of things that ended up getting sacrificed because this is a starter home. So this is designed on a budget. So with these three sim or with these six Sims um, on a 30 by 20 lot, um, they ended up getting a budget essentially of $28,000. So I'm sure you could actually probably fit this on a smaller lot. I'm not quite sure if, actually I'm not quite sure if you could. It might be just a little too small for that or a little too big for a smaller lot. Um, but anyway, so we ended up fitting in um, four bedrooms upstairs with three bathrooms and then downstairs there is two bathrooms and a bedroom. So I kind of designed it this way. The bottom story bedroom was a was essentially like a great grandparent or a grandparent. Um, it's just where they kind of can keep an eye on the whole family. Maybe they're out there and they're helping the, uh, their kids out with the grandkids and such. Um, since a lot of families actually tend to look like that nowadays. A lot of times the grandparents live with parents and they live with their grandkids and all that kind of stuff. Like I know that especially from firsthand experience with my... Uh, sister and my mom so uh, I'm not saying I'm the most successful of us two kids but you know anyway because <laughs> um, I, I technically own my own home that's not the point though so anyway I do love my sister I do uh, so it's just it kind of gives me a little bit of a little bit more real life experience with them uh, like my parent, my parents, my sister, and my niece and nephew live in a four bedroom, no, three, well technically it's three bedroom home, uh, but the den can be converted into a bedroom, so that's what they have uh, going on, which is nice. Um, anyway, so if you notice I am putting parenthood counters in here, I do take them back out, I promise. I realized they were parenthood and I went, oh no! base game only <laughs> so I deleted them and went back at it uh, with some base game counters so with this though um, I mostly I do this series just so this way you can kind of see different combinations and different ways to organize and maybe there were some items in there you didn't think you had in there um, maybe some rug colors you find or different ways to arrange things I wanted to give them that long table so bad, but it just, it didn't work out. So I kind of smushed two uh, rectangular, smaller rectangular tables together. This way there's eight seats. Like, I know technically, like, you only need six seats for six sims, but you never know. Maybe they invite people over and that kind of thing. You don't know them. You, d you don't know them. <laughs> I went through all different kinds of color combinations with these uh, couches. Um, the rug I do end up picking, it is a rug that is not available in base game, so I end up changing it out to a different rug. Don't worry, it, when it is uploaded to the gallery, it is all still base game. So, I may screw up every once in a while and accidentally put something in there that doesn't need to be in there. But, I take it all out, because I'll upload it to the gallery, because I love the way the gallery does it, where you can upload stuff, and then you can check it, and it tells you what packs were used. And so that's how I usually end up just double checking my base game starter homes. I will upload it to the gallery as soon as I'm done and then I will check it, make sure that it is in fact base game only and then um, I'll move on. If I find it is not base game only and that there's a certain item, I'm, I usually know what it is pretty close off the bat. There was one time I uh, 
used, um, it was in a base game starter home. I used something from Laundry Day and I caught it um, right afterwards. I was like, oh, that's right. That's not, that's not base game. And so I ran in, went in back in there, changed it out for something that was base game. And then we were able to uh, move on with our lives. Anyway, so we're up here. We're designing the bedrooms upstairs. Um, so like I said, there's those three bathrooms upstairs. Oh, and I realized that the shower tub combo is a lot more expensive than just buying them separately. And so I ended up changing them out. Um, and then of course I made it so this way, one bathroom has a tub, one bathroom has a shower upstairs, and then there is one that has both. And there was several items in here that ended up getting sacrificed. So the stairs are going to a single wide. I sacrificed a counter. I sacrificed a couple of the smaller windows. I realized though, after the fact, I'm like, I could have done some of the larger windows too. Wouldn't have been that big of a deal. <laughs> could have gotten rid of them. Could have saved us a little bit of cash. But uh, anyway. Oh, and the door gets sacrificed too. That door that you see right there from that one bedroom. Oh yeah, I wanted to put up curtains so bad, but I didn't. We just didn't have the budget for it. I was like, no, you know what, skirt, whatever. I have more important things I'd rather buy, with four hundred dollars. So, <laughs> uh, I bought the kids a rug. The kids, the kid and toddler bedroom is a little bit more decorated because toddlers need more than kids do. Like kids can actually go out, they can play with their friends and that kind of stuff. There's only so much a toddler can do, so that's why I always try to make sure that toddlers have some items. Um, although a toy gets sacrificed, and uh, I really wanted to fit an armchair up there, but I was I was not putting like a regular dining chair up there. That's not what I was looking for. So I just put up a couple of decorations instead. Here's why I said that those uh, windows got a little bit of a sacrifice there. I just kind of wanted to put something else in there. I'm like, I want to make this work here. Like we're doing this. And all right, so we're going straight into the tour here. And uh, I know you guys didn't see me put the mailbox in there, but uh, I ended up seeing the mailbox after I uh, moved some stuff. I moved around a lot. So, oh yeah, and there is in fact a trash can in the kitchen. There's just not one outside. So your Sims just need to get up and go out and start working <laughs> in order to be able to afford that kind of stuff. So. Here is the main floor bathroom, and then we will go ahead and we will take our trip upstairs, and uh, you'll get to see all the bedrooms. Oh, no, wait, hold on, hold on. We still have the bedroom downstairs that we would like to go through. Um, so it's a very basic bedroom. They all pretty much are, except for the teenager and the kid slash toddler room. Those two have the most amount of items in there. As I was just trying to cut off demonstrate, you know, what kind of, um, what kind of stuff you can put in there just to kind of make it feel a little bit more lived in. So we're going to go, uh, clockwise starting at this door and then we're going to go all the way around into every single door. So this is one of the main, uh, main bathrooms on the second floor. This is the first bedroom here. So yeah, it's very basic. Um, I kind of designed that one as more like an adult's bedroom. So it could be the parent or just an adult child. And then uh, that is the child and uh, toddler bedroom. This is the teen's bedroom. And then we go across the way and this would be um, essentially like a parent's or a grandparent's bedroom. Um, it also too has an ensuite. So there's two, bed two bedrooms that have ensuites and then the rest of them don't. Um, and then there's three additional bathrooms on top of that. So that's convenient, I mean. So here is the last f bathroom on this floor, and that's pretty much going to wrap it up for us, guy. S so go ahead, leave your feedback, comments, and suggestions all down below in that comment section. I always love hearing from you guys. If you have any suggestions for any kind of homes you would like to see, uh, definitely leave that down there. I always love getting back to you. All my social media is in that description box in case you want to hit me up on Twitch, Twitter, or Facebook. And I do currently live stream on Twitch three times a week. And give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. And if you did like it, don't forget to subscribe so you can catch more videos just like this one. And thanks for watching, guys. Have a wonderful day. Bye.